Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bronzy, smoky, brown eye look. I did an eye look, I think it was last week or a couple of weeks ago, and I really liked it, but I think I'm going to make it more intense, like I'm going to intensify it so that it's just a bit more dramatic because I thought it was quite subtle. So I'm going to be doing that today. And if you want to see it, keep watching. Oh, um, I realised like a dummy that I can actually zoom in, which is so dumb because it's literally like a camera obviously has the ability to zoom in, but I just never realised. So I'm going to do that now for my brows and for my eyes and stuff. I'm going to start with my brows as usual. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Precise Brow Pencil. So yeah, I'm going to fill in my brows now. I'm going to fill them in with the Fenty Beauty, what's it called again? Instant Retouch Concealer. Right, so I've done my brows. I used the Makeup Revolution Precision or Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown first. Then I used the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer to carve them out. And then I just used the Primark Brow Gel to set them in place. So now I'm going to do my skin. I think today I'm gonna go for a more like glammed up looks so i'm gonna put on foundation i'm gonna use the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating foundation in the shade 400 so i'm just gonna put that on now and i probably shouldn't put it directly onto my face because it's a bit unhygienic but i don't know yet yeah um i forgot to say that I prepped my skin before the video, so I just did my skincare basically because I don't like use a primer or anything. Um, and my skin prep is just my skin, like my normal morning, usually skincare routine. I don't have a video for my um, morning skincare routine yet. Um, but I'm gonna have one soon, but I do have one for my nighttime skincare routine and they are very similar. So um, Check that out if you haven't seen it already I use one pump of the um, Fenty foundation I think that's enough because I don't put foundation on my forehead when I wear it so yeah, I think I think it's actually enough. But obviously if I was going for a more full coverage look, I'd put more on. Okay, so I think that's blended out enough. So now I'm going to go into concealer and again I'm using the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 390, I think it is. Yeah, 390. So 
just putting concealer in the places that I want a bit of brightening. Um, yeah, and I say this all the time, but I just like to confine this concealer to these areas and not take it any wider or trying to say is I don't use too much because otherwise it kind of just changes the shade the your skin tone and that's not what I'm trying to achieve I forgot to wet my beauty blender so I'll do that now right well I went to go and wet my beauty blender then my um battery was low so I changed it for my spare battery but I couldn't find the charger and now I feel like the concealer is basically dry and that is the most terrifying thing for me like I know some um, some people like to leave their concealer to get a bit tacky but I feel like the Fenty concealer is like a soft matte so it dries down quite quickly and uh, I'm just really stressed out right now blended out luckily but that was really stressful <coughs> okay so I'm gonna just set that straight away actually no, I'm not I'm gonna go back in with the yeah, I really don't know what the name of this consumer is like at all well I'll find out but I'm gonna go back in with the I think it's Maybelline oh I really don't know well it's the Maybelline concealer that looks like this in the shade 40 yeah and this one's a bit lighter and I'm gonna use it literally like there and there because otherwise I think I'll look ashy I think that is definitely a concealer that could use some um, like letting it dry down just a little bit because it's quite um, watery not watery but like it's just not thick it doesn't yeah it's not thick it's like this eye when I was blending it was even when I was like trying to diffuse it it was going all the way out here which is why I was doing doing it up here but with this one because obviously it took time um, it, it just stayed where I wanted it to stay because it had dried down a little bit. And I, actually, I think I put a little bit on my chin just to get that snatched look. And I don't mind this one being diffused out because then it blends out more. It doesn't have to be so precise. And maybe some of my notes. away because otherwise it'll make my whole nose too light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted, yeah. Right. Pretty impressed with that. So I'm going to set my concealer now. And I'm going to use the Contour and Glow palette by Makeup Revolution. I'm going into the shade number one, which is this shade here. You cannot see that, but it's the lightest 
matcher, the lighter matcher, I should say. I'm just going to set that and I'm using a brush to do this because I think it prevents it from getting, it prevents me from using too much powder and I don't, on me the powdery look, not powdery because people don't tend to look powdery really but what I'm trying to say is if I bake I look mad so I'll just set with powder instead. And I'm just setting everywhere where I've put the conceal on. do something and then I forgot right <coughs> because I'm wearing foundation I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty Beauty instant retouch setting powder in the shade is that even what it's called pro filter oh yeah it is okay in the shade banana um this time I'm gonna basically bake my smile lines because because otherwise they peek through and I don't like it. And I don't really know why um, I guess my lines now. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, maybe I've put on weight or my skin's got oilier or the foundation I'm using is less matte, I don't know. Because when I was younger, I didn't know smile lines were really a thing. And I never used to get them. Like I'm, I just, oh yeah, I didn't know they were a thing. And I'm just gonna set this bit there. Just because I get, I tend to get oilier there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I mean, right now it looks a bit mad, but it's just okay. It's okay, it won't be like that forever. And then I'm gonna take my Fenty, literally, yeah, uh, this is like, this video is literally like an ad for Fenty Beauty because I literally have the foundation, concealer, setting powder, bronzer. To be honest, it could definitely be worse because now she has a brow pencil she has all the matchsticks well lip products i do have a couple glosses and a stunning lip paint it could be worse but i mean people aren't, people aren't mad they're not just going to buy the products because because of buying its sake like they work and they work well i just love Oh, I forgot, I was gonna bake my nose just to... Cause I feel like with nose contour and stuff on me, I don't contour my nose, but I mean, when I do anything to my nose, it just doesn't look like I've done anything. So maybe this will look, this will, you know. I just hope, because this is not lined up, I hope it's not going to make my nose look crooked afterwards. Okay. Let's just hope, because this is the way I'm doing my makeup right now. I don't, this is really not my usual when I'm wearing foundation, so. Just hope it all works out. So I've done my bronzer. What am I doing next? What am I doing next? Hmm. 
just to be a bit more dramatic than I have already, I'm going to go back into the contour and glow palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of that light shade I was using earlier and uh, what do they even call this? Reverse contour, even though I haven't contoured but you know, you know what I mean. Just underneath, I used to love doing this because I never used to have um, an actual bronzer or contour. But you know when you have hyperpigmentation in your cheeks, so it looks like contour, yeah. I used to have that, but I still do. But um, just to like, uh, what's the word? Enhance it, I would um, do the reverse contour thing and it would look like I've put in much more effort than I actually have. Right, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Matte Blush Creamy Cheek Tint in the shade Burgundy Flush. I'm just going to use a little brush, a little more techniques brush. Um, I need new brushes, but I don't know where. I don't know what brushes are good. Not good, but. The one thing that's annoying about this, actually it's actually my own, because most people with a blush like this would use their fingers, but that scares me, so I don't, I use a brush. And because of that, it kind of like, picks up more of the blush in some places than others, which sometimes makes it look, look like patchy or uneven on my cheeks, but that's actually my own business because I'm not even applying it properly. But oh well, I just wanted to complain a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough. Baker my nose that off. Yeah, this thing actually looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it looks nice. Usually I put a little bit of um blush on my nose, but I'm not gonna do that today because I'm really liking how this 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 new Looking okay. very impressed, and just to finish off my nose, I'm really jumping back and forth, but I keep I keep remembering things. Just to finish off my nose, I'm gonna go back into the Fenty Beauty bronzer, and I also think I made my nose look bigger because because I've put the highlight on the end so I'm just gonna do that my face looks weird I'm not used to having my nose look like this so I don't know if I like it what do you just make this enter the chat And while I'm here, I might as well just highlight again from the contour and glow palette this thing. If you remember, I'm using this highlight shade just on my nose. And I keep this bow. And I think if I'm going to highlight my brow bone, I'll do that after I've done the eye look just if, to see if it looks right. Oh, okay, finally the eyes. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to, I really don't know why I'm speaking like this. And I'm going to go into, let me go, let me go light. I'm going to go into Ginger from the Jackie Aina palette. Ginger is this shade here. It looks very light, but it doesn't look actually look like that. So I'm just gonna sweep this in the crease, like so. I don't like how that looks on camera. It looks a bit patchy. I'm 
Yeah, and I'm just doing that with the other eye. Maybe it's just how, I, how it looks on the camera. Hopefully when, when I edit it and export it and everything and I'm actually looking at it on the computer, it will look normal. That would be really nice. Okay, then I'm gonna take my B Cosmetics blending brush. It's a fluffy one that looks like that. And I'm going to go into Burnt Orange. Oh my God, please don't judge me. Burnt Orange, this one. Oh my God, look at that. Well, to be honest, I've used this palette very well, which is why it looks like that, so can't even drag me but yeah burnt orange from the soft glam palette i absolutely love this palette even though it looks like i've only used a couple of shades but i absolutely love it and i've just decided that i'm going to make it a like a tapered tapered what, what do they call it just eyeshadow that looks tapered basically like kind of almost into a wing yeah so i'm just using burnt orange this lighter shade to diffuse the edges out a little bit right i'm gonna go back into ginger again and actually i'm gonna go into ginger and mix it with edges which is this color from the jacket and the palette just a little bit because the colors in the jacket and the palette are very 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 pigmented she really didn't lie when she said she made it for people with darker skin tones because legit it's very pigmented okay and i'm just doing that and i'm emphasizing this tapered Blend, 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 blend. So that's all you have to do. That's what you have to do when it comes to these eye looks. Okay, time to get a bit scary and deepen things up a little bit. I'm going to take Rustic, this brown, from the Soft Glam palette. And I'm going to deepen this up a little bit. Uh-oh. You know when you do something and as soon as you've done it, you just know it's not it. Right now. I'm actually so dramatic, it's not even that bad. And before this starts to look muddy, I'm gonna go back into what shade should I go back into? Nothing. I'm just gonna use my brush clean and diffuse it back out again. Okay, to my eye like on my face i mean like in the mirror this looks pretty good and i'm just gonna try and do the same with the other eye i have so much work to do i literally have two weeks worth of lectures to catch up on Big trouble, big, big, big trouble. That's actually okay because ugh, I can't come and die. I actually can't. I'll be alright, man. Oh, I'm really liking how this is turning out. I need to stop being so boring, yeah? And doing the same looks over and over again. Like, I'm actually bored of myself. Maybe it's because I don't have that much, that many palettes. It's actually annoying because this looks sick so far. I'm gonna go into Credit, which is an even darker still brown from the Jackie Eyeliner palette. Like you can see a pattern here. I'm putting a color down, then I'm blending that out. Then I'm putting another color, blending that out, deepening it, blending that out, but it's all graduated. So I'm not going straight into a dark color, which you can do for some looks. Like for some looks that's absolutely fine but for this because i'm going for like a smoked out um i don't know what i'm trying to say yeah i, don't, I just don't think it would work with this look 
or maybe I just don't have the range. And I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. Okay, right now this looks pretty blended, so that's all right. Okay, so now I'm going to take a flat shade of brush like this. You see that? I'm just going to pack on Rustic, which again is this color from the Soft Glam palette, and I'm just packing that onto the outer corner. And blending that inwards a little bit. Same okay this looks pretty dark so i'm just going to blend along the crease as well okay so i'm going to go into sultry this shade from the Superman palette again and you can see how bronzy it's actually so useless but i'm gonna close my eyes like this you can see how bronzy and just beautiful it looks i'm gonna do the same with the other eye that a little bit into the inner, inner corner there you can see and then I'm going to take oops, my Morphe brush and just blend the outer part because I don't want it to look too shimmery now I think I'm going to take Lituation which is this shade that from the jacket and the palette i'm taking a tiny brush like that i'm going to kind of cut the crease you'll see what i mean but basically that like stump it in that space and i'm gonna bring this into the inner corner i like this like a lot a lot a lot do the same with the other eye. I can't even see my eyes. Oh my god, I'm such a bad YouTuber. Do you see that? No. Just do it upright like this. So that's how it's been the whole video. I've just been doing this and you can't even see my face. Electric chair. Actually so useless. I'm gonna go back into Sultry and just go over the shadow that I put down earlier. Just in the center part and then diffuse it up a little bit into Lituation. Okay, now I think I'm going to go into a black Noir, the black eyeshadow in the soft glam palette. Oops. I'm just gonna go the top here, the top corner, and just stamp it there out. I'm basically lining the yes, I am. You know, I'm saying basically like it's a little bit different. I am lining the top lash line. Oops. It wasn't really meant to look like that, but I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it out now a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do a brow burn highlight with my contour and glow palette, just a little bit. Okay, I put quite a lot of highlight by accident on that side, so I have to. I think actually I'm going to add an inner corner highlight with that same tiny brush. I'm going to go into Trust Issues, which is this colour here. I'm going to take my brush, the brush that I used to set my under eye, and take a little bit of the Fenty powder because it's lighter. And basically reset my under eye, but drag it out to where the wing is. Oops. Yeah. I think this looks much more snatched than that now. I hope you've all registered to vote, by the way. It's free, just register to vote, please, please, I'm begging. 
don't know why I randomly thought of that, but yeah. Okay, time to do lips. Basically done now. Oh wait, I need to do my lashes and stuff. I'll do that now. I'm gonna put a tiny coat of mascara on first. In fact, I'm doing lashes off camera. So, done the eyes, now I need to do my lips, and then I'm done. So I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX. How oh, was it so long? The NYX slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner in the shade Urban Cafe. Then I'm going to fill the middle part in with this Seattle London lipstick in the shade Cashmere. I don't know if this is the vibe I'm going for. Yikes. Ah, oh, this tin. I mean, it looks nice. Oh, anyway. And then I'm going to go over that with the Makeup Revolution Lip Topper in the shade Exquisite. trying to be cute <laughs> but yeah um this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video it was very long um but i really had fun creating this look because i wasn't just like you know doing what i usually do i was actually trying something new and going with the flow and it was great so if you like this video leave a like if you want to subscribe subscribe if you have any comments suggestions on future videos anything to um talk about anything to ask leave it in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one bye